In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty Mighty God, God, and, and to, to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. David proposes to build a temple for the Lord. The Lord chooses instead to build the house or dynasty of David. From David's descendants will come the Messiah. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace and the Lord had given him rest 
from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night, the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, should you build me a house to dwell in. It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you, and I will make you famous like the great one of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old, since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your ear after you, he sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, to rock my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. God's loving plan of salvation, hidden for many ages, is revealed with the coming of Jesus Christ, and this is made known both to Israel and the Gentiles. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to him who can strengthen you, according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery kept secret for long ages, but now manifested through the prophetic writings and according to the command of the eternal God made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise god through jesus christ be glory forever and ever amen the word of the lord thanks be to god please all stand Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa ating pong ebanghelyo, natunghayan po ang natin ang pagbisita po ni Angel Gabriel kay Mama Mary at pag-a-announce sa kanya na siya ay magiging ina ng Diyos. Ngayon po tayo nasa ikaapat na linggo ng Adviento at doon din po sa ating ikasam na gabi ng simbang gabi. Napakaganda pong itanong, bakit ba tayo nagsisimbang gabi? O bakit merong simbang gabi? Bakit ba dinalaw ni Angel Gabriel si Mama Mary? Bakit ba may Pasko? Bakit ba nagkatawang tao ang Diyos? Bakit ba sa tinawag na Emmanuel? Bakit nga po ba bumaba dito ang ating Panginoon? Sa lahat po ng tanong na yan, iisa lamang ang sagot. At yan, yan po ay sa kadahilan ng gusto po tayong makaisa ng ating Diyos. Ang bawat isa sa atin ay gustong makaisa ng ating Diyos. Kaya pumula sa langit, siya ay bumaba dito sa lupa upang tayo ay makaisa. At yan po ay ginawa niya sa pamamagitan ng dalawang bagay. Paano nga ba nakikipag-isa sa atin ang ating Diyos? Dalawang bagay po ang kanyang ginawa. At yan po ay sa pamamagitan ng pag-aalay ng kanyang buhay sa krus. Pagbibigay ng kanyang buhay sa krus upang tayo mailigtas. At pangalawa po, sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng kanyang katawan sa atin, pagpapakain sa atin. Kaya mapapansin niyo po sa lahat ng simbahan, mga kapilya, lagi po ang sentro nito ay ang krus ng ating Panginoon at kanyang altar. Yan po ang dahilan kung bakit tayo may Pasko. Yan po ang dahilan kung bakit bumaba ang ating Panginoon mula sa langit papunta dito sa lupa. Hindi lamang po upang iligtas tayo, at bagkos ay pakainin po tayo. Pakainin tayo ng ating Panginoon. Dahil alam niyo po, kapag po tayo kumakain ng pagkain natin dito sa, sa atin, sa lupa, mga kanin, mga ulam, hindi po ba itong mga pagkain ito ay nagiging bahagi ng ating katawan? Kung ano man po yung kinakain natin, ay nagiging bahagi ng ating katawan. Pero po pag tayo nagsisimba at tinatanggap po natin ang katawan ni Kristo, baligtad po ang nangyayari. Pag tinatanggap natin ang katawan ni Kristo, tayo ang nagiging 
bahagi ng katawan ni Kristo. At ito po ang gustong gusto niya. Ito po ang dahilan kung bakit pumunta po siya dito sa lupa upang makaisa ang bawat isa sa atin. At nang sa gayon po, tayo ay madala niya sa ating tunay na tahanan sa langit. Kaya po ang ating Panginoon ang ating tinapay ng buhay. Buhay na walang hanggan. Dahil alam po ng ating Panginoon, para po tayo makabalik sa ating tunay na tahanan sa langit, kailangan po ang ating katawan, ang ating kaluluwa ay may lakas pabalik po sa langit. Kaya po talaga bumaba pa dito ang ating Panginoon upang tayo pakainin. Dahil isa lang po ang pinagmumulan po ng lakas na yan ng ating kaluluwa. At yan po ay ang katawan ni Kristo, ang pagkaing nagmumula pa sa langit na tinatagap po natin sa banal na misa. At alam niyo po ito pong pagpapakain ng ating Panginoon ay makikita natin sa kanyang kapanganakan pa lamang. Hindi lang po natin to nakita doon sa Last Supper na kanyang ginawa. Bagkus po sa kanyang kapanganakan ay makikita na po natin ang kagustuhan ng ating Panginoon na tayo ay pakainin, na tayo ay maging bahagi niya, na tayo ay makaisa niya. Saan po ba, saan bayan po ba pinanganak ang ating Panginoon? Saan po ba? Saan bayan po? Nasa kanta yan, dapat po alam natin. Saan bayan po? Sa Bethlehem, di po ba? Siya po ay pinanganak sa Bethlehem. At ito pong Bethlehem po ay sa salitang Hebreo, dalawang salita po yan, Beth and Lechem. Lechem, Bethlehem. At alam niya po ba ang kahulugan ng Bethlehem? pag english po natin ito, ito ay english natin. Ang ibig sabihin po ng Bethlehem ay House of Bread. House of Bread. Bahay ng tinapay. Kaya makikita po natin sa kapanganakan pa lang po ng ating Panginoon, dito na po niya makikita natin ang kanyang kagustuhan na ibigay ang kanyang sarili sa pamamagitan ng pagiging tinapay. Tinapay ng buhay. Kung baga po sa ating salita, ang ating pong Panginoon ay parang ipinanganak sa bakery. Sa bakery. Dahil po ang gusto niyang sabihin sa atin, simulat sa pool pa lang, ay gusto niya tayong pakainin. Gusto niya tayong maging bahagi ng kanyang katawan. Gusto niya makaisa ang bawat isa sa atin. Pangalawa po, nung ang ating pong Panginoon ay ipinanganak, saan po ba siya inilagay? Saan po nilagay? Sa sabsaban o sa manger. Alam po ba natin kung ano ang sabsaban o manger? Ang sabsaban po o manger ay pakainan po ng hayop. Yan po yung parang box na nilalagyan po ng mga dayami na pagkain po ng mga hayop. Diyan po nilagay ang ating Panginoon sa pakainan ng hayop. Kaya sa simulat sa pool pa lang po, muli makikita po natin ang ating Panginoon ay magiging pagkain pala natin. Magiging pagkain natin. Kung baga po sa ating salita, nung ipinanganak ang ating Panginoon, parang nilagay po siya sa plato. Inilagay siya sa plato. At bakit? Yan nga po ay sa kadahilanang gusto niya pong makaisa ang bawat isa sa atin. Kaya po, dito po sa ating naging simbang gabi, siyam na gabi, sino po ba ang nakakompleto? Ayan, marami-rami. Napakaganda po ng ating ginagawa dahil po sa ating pagsisimbang gabi talagang pinagtitibay natin ang ating ugnayan sa ating Panginoon. Pinagtitibay natin ang ating ugnayan sa ating Panginoon. Kaya lang po, sa panahon ngayon po ay eh, medyo marami po kasing mga tao pa na hindi po nakaka- naaintindihan ang tunay na kahulugan ng ating Pasko. Marami po na nagse-celebrate nito, mga Christmas party, nagde-decorate ng bahay at naghahanda ng mga pagkain, pero hindi po talaga naaintindihan ang tunay na kahulugan ng Pasko. Hindi po naaintindihan kung bakit bumaba dito sa lupa ang ating Panginoon. Kaya sana po sa ating buhay kung meron naman po tayong kapamilya, mga kaibigan o mga kamag-anak na sa tingin natin ay hindi naintindihan ng tunay na kahulugan ng Pasko, hindi na po nagsisimba, hindi na nakikipag-isa sa, sa ating Panginoon So Kristo, tulad po sana ni Angel Gabriel, tayo po ay maghatid ng mabuting balita sa kanila. Ihatid po natin ang tunay na kahulugan ng Pasko, ang tunay na kahulugan kung bakit bumaba dito sa lupa ang ating Panginoon. Kaya sana po sa banalamisang ito, ito po ang isama natin sa ating panalangin or kung tayo man po yung isa dun sa hindi na nakakapagsimba linggo-linggo, hindi na po pinagtitibay ang ating ugnayan sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo, ito po sana ang ating gawing panalangin. At kung meron po tayong mga mahal sa buhay na sitingin po natin na hindi na nakakapagsimba linggo-linggo, 
isama rin po natin sa ating panalangin dito sa banal na misa. At nang sa gayon po, yung mga biyayang tinatanggap po natin, mas lalo na po dun sa mga nakakompleto ng simbang gabi, ito po mga biyayang ito ay hindi manatili sa atin. Bagkus po ay maipamigay po natin o maibahagi po natin sa ating mga mahal sa buhay. Please all stand. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the death and the life of the world to come. Amen. As the day of the Savior's coming draws near, let us intensify our prayers and, like Mary, open our hearts to our Heavenly Father. With hope-filled joy, we pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. Like the Virgin Mary, may the Church, your beloved people, be ready to welcome Christ the Savior in their hearts this Christmas and share it joyfully with others. We pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. Like the Virgin Mary, may government and civil leaders head the message of your word and serve the common good of all. We pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. May the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary help the poor, the disadvantaged, the lonely and abundant, and may they experience the Lord's consolation through the efforts of people who minister to them, we pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. May the Lord welcome to the joy of paradise those who have gone ahead of us, we pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. For the intentions of this Mass and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions, we pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayers. Isama din po natin sa ating pangapanalangin ang ating mga mahal sa buhay, mas lalo na po yung nalalayo na sa ating Panginoon, yung mga hindi na po nakakapagsimba linggo-linggo, Ipanalangin po natin ngayon. We pray, God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. God, our Father, hear our humble prayers and petitions. Fill us with deep faith and joy as we prepare to receive Christ like Mary. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as He filled with His power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him, with love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the feast of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat. Sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
all stand. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mysteries of your Son's Nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat po ng ating mga mass sponsors. Gayun din po sa Cultural Center of the Philippines na kasabay pong nag-live po natin ngayon dito sa ating Bilal na Misa. Gayun din po, maraming maraming salamat po sa bawat isa po sa atin na dubalo ng misang ito dito sa simbahan at gayun din, gayun din po online. Nawa po ang pasong darating ay maging mabiyaya po sa bawat isa sa atin. Maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May the almighty and merciful God, by His grace, you have placed your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with His blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may He make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when He comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down in, on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Panalangin po para sa ating mga may sakit. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing naman po ng ating mga religious articles in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.